finally leads you to the Vajinoi's palace gates. They're guarded by two watchmen who, as it seems, are unable to find common ground in an argument. Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to continue on here in Black Book. Hello, I'm Kirsten Curse. It's you who did curse enough. You can't even talk straight, not to mention tear some nets. He's mad because of you. Oh, Rusalka. You again, my little friends. I'm leading the new world to Vakul, as he told me to. Uh huh. You're the ones who kept us from tearing the nets properly. Get out of here. Maybe we can just swim over them? We can't. There's sorcery here. There's only one entrance to the palace. Listen, dead man. Vakul called me here himself. And if you won't let me pass, he'll be even angrier. Even angrier? Precisely. So move, why don't you? Wait, wait. We have an order. Only let the knowers in. So, if you're a knower, you should be able to answer this riddle of ours. Very well. I'm good at these sort of things. It purrs and purrs, but won't pour out. It runs and runs. Mm -hmm. But won't run out. It pours and pours, but won't pour out. It runs and runs, but won't run out. It's a river. I've heard more difficult ones. Well, that's correct. All right, go through. But oh, your is a riddle is to blame. You leave the angry drowners and go on your way. The interior of the Vajinoi's palace doesn't look like old fairy tales. There are old planks instead of the crystal walls, and the place is overgrown with river grasses. You open your book in anticipation. You never know what kind of pests might be hiding in the old palace. Your vigilance pays off. A couple of chorts step out from the darkness. Near the empty gatehouse, you find a huge herd of cows. Among the animals walks an exhausted peasant. He notices you and rushes over to you. Christ almighty immortal man! She's alive and not haunted! Be careful not to crush the witch! Oh, I will drag you even further! A witch? 
I should have known. There's no other Christian soul around here except for mine. This is where I die. Don't be so quick to write me off as a spirit. I can help you if you need me to. You can. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. But it won't be that easy to get you out. I think we should order a prayer. Then Bakul will let you go himself. Take it. Here's the money I've made here. I am from Nikrasova village. Find my wife there. They've been searching for me. They'll order a prayer. I'm sure of it. All right. I'll find your wife if I pass through there. Don't lose hope. The moved peasant catches a tear trickling from his eye and bows deeply before you. The treasures of the Vadinoi consist of all sorts of things. Silver and gold coins, icon frames studded with precious stones. There aren't any icons in the icon frames. While looking at this corpse, Vakul sold it. You'd never know that. This is how he makes new drowners. So that's how drowners come to be. <laughs> Unless I announce you to the Vodinoi, he won't show himself. Ready? Wait a moment. So, got what you were after, witch. What else do you want? Will the Vodinoi be here soon? That's none of your business. We wouldn't let you in anyway. He comes when he wishes to. What kind of a duo are you anyway? Who knows? Who knows? Perhaps we're future Vodinois. Very well. We'll talk. Strange conversation. Oh. Okay. Go ahead. Unless I announce you to the Vodinoi, he won't show himself. Ready? What can you tell me about him? He's old, has his quirks. He's winning today, so he should be in a good mood. Listen, if he offers you gold, don't take it. Ask for fish scales instead. It's all different here in this world. It's not like what people are used to. Unless I announce you to the Vodinoi, he won't show himself. Ready? Yes, bring him in. This is gonna get very, very strange. Year after year, it's getting worse and worse. Countdowns now ease our week. It's not like in the other days. A curious sort they were. You can solve riddles, but that's only half of it. It means you speak the language of spirits. <laughs> Greetings, Vadinoi Grandfather. My name is Vasilisa. I know your name. I know of everything in my kingdom. Do you think I couldn't get you this very moment unless I really wanted to? I wanted to see what kind of a human you are. You've been helping others. Turn out the name of Rosalka. I don't approve of that. You have no business taking my servants away. Well, what brings you here? I wanted to ask you. What's been going on at the salt factory? 
Did you send the Rusalka and take the brine? I have this acquaintance of mine. Dimitov is his name. Do you know what he did when he built his factory? He threw a glove into the water. Then he took out the other glove, cut out three fingers of it, and threw it also into the water. Do you know why? Dimitov threw a glove into the water. Why is this? He must have gotten angry at somehow. So he threw the gloves into the water in anger. I haven't heard anything sillier. A sacrifice, he promised me a human sacrifice. And not one, but several. And what now? I'd be content with some fisher pouring vodka into the lake. I won't stand for this. Your salt walker also promised me a sacrifice. But he wasn't very eager with making good on it. But I'll take what is due. You yourself dragged Yvdekia to the bottom. Yes, I myself. Before his self works, he had a water meal. That's when we made a contract. For this violation, he paid with his daughter. Wasn't too good to pay the tribute for his factory. He's paying for it now. <sighs> So you're to blame for all these deaths. Mind who you're talking to, bitch. I took only what's mine to take. For your words, I could turn you into a drowner, but today I will be kind. How does he get the brine back now? Do you want to know what to do next? I'll tell you, but you will have to do it properly afterwards. Don't you want to learn anything else? To begin with, I wanted to ask you. I know the name of the Rusalka. Let her go. Now! Do I look like a bandit to you? Does she look a bride? <laughs> she can't be saved by a name. She's already dead. You can't bring anyone back from the afterlife. No. There are ways. You are talking about your book. She doesn't have anything like that. She will do her time with me. When it is her time to return to the surface, I will let her go to heaven or hell. But that is not for me to decide. And certainly not for you. I wanted to ask you, what's this cave with writings on the walls? I've been living here for a long time. Everything used to be different here. There used to be a grave. I kept what's left. All tradition shouldn't disappear. I simply want to let them. I wanted to ask you. I need to break the seal on the book. I know this book. I don't know how to break the seal. I'll break it if you do my bidding. I wanted to ask you. How do I get the brine back? How do I break the seal? Do you want to know what to do next? I'll tell you, but you will have to do it properly afterwards. Don't you want to learn anything else? Tell me what you want. Yes, now there's a good witch. I need a helper of land. You will go to the pothouse that's not far from Bilgard. You will find some bandits there. Lately, they too have forgotten to make offering to me. Make them restore this good tradition. All right, as you wish. I like you, Miss Elisa. We can become friends after I break the seal. I chose a gift for you. A chest of golden coins or a handful of fish scales. I'll take the scales. You can't find any such things on the surface. As you wish, witch. Now return to the surface. Well, have a nice trip. Well, meet right after you fulfill my task. Perhaps at the old water mill of my home. I'll break your water seal. And the brine, it depends on the home. Surely I'll be able to find a couple of gloves.
You return to your senses on the bank of the Rusalka backwater. You spit out muddy water and inspect your things. Everything is where it should be. With a shudder, you clutch for the black book. It's also here. Only the fish scales have disappeared. To your surprise, you notice a heavy sack with gold coins in its place. Grandpa, I'm back. Vasilisa, I did some divinations the other day. Learned that Vakul is holding you captive. And then I went to the Church of the Trinity, did what needed to be done. That's why the water demon let you go. The prayers may not be the reason. He had a task for me. You tell old Yegor about the events of recent days. So that Miller was by home. Interesting. A Vaginoi doesn't forget his subjects. Be on the lookout with this demon. He may try to pull one over on you. I don't trust demons, just as you taught me. And that's why you helped the Rusalka. That is not the same as a uh, changeling girl. We need to be careful in our line of work, or you'll wind up beneath the earth. Anyway, we need to think about something else. Ask the bandits about Fakul. They might give you some advice. All right, Grandpa. What kind of bandits make offerings to him? I think river bandits. Not a rare sort nowadays. They may be escaped convicts or former factory workers. You're a powerful knower. They can't hurt you. Curse them if they try anything. Don't let them catch their breath. I'm at the Rusalka. Do you think we can help her? The Rusalka? She is dead already. How can you help a dead person? <sighs> well, I'm sorry, Vasilisa. I spoke without thinking. I don't think she has friend that can help her. But I found her name. It must mean something. You're saying she's Pahom's daughter? Let him think about it. Can I at least free her from the Vodinoi? That spirit holds on to his droners until their early time is up. He might let them go sooner, uh, for the right price. Sometimes, of course, they can be saved with prayer. Vodinois who are weaker than ours have a lower price. What price will Vakul ask? <laughs> no one knows. You can try it if you want to. But the seal takes priority. Don't you forget that. Do you think he will keep his promise about the salt and the seal? I dealt with him once, also at a mill. Did everything he had to, but also took all that he could. <laughs> a powerful short. Now it's your turn. You'll beat him. Never doubt that. I see. Time to go. All right. That pothouse of yours isn't far from Salatnova, to the west of Kusheva. Mikrasova isn't far. One drowner asked me to help him. I'll get Pahom in the meantime. God help you. Could you maybe bring me a jug of milk? And some pruno, as much as possible, instead of bothering me with all that questions. Yes, Vasilisa. <laughs> Why won't you treat our guest with mash? 
Here you go, Proshka, lad. Take it. Thank you, Grandpa. What a nice guy. Since when are you getting along so well? Since the time Proshka saved all our books. Yeah, the mice is all over. They ate your books, you know? And I caught them all. So it turned out not a bad thing to have any caught at home. He caught all the mice. What else do you want to know? What happened next? How did you live in the church? Ah, Vasilisa. Hard to remember. As if all the memories were gone with the wind. So, you don't remember anything? Just a bit. Too well, what you're looking at. Try to live such a long time, and then we'll see how good you are with all this remembering business. I do remember living in a rich house where I always sat. As a Sushevka, I guess. And I looked over all three sides. All four, you mean? No, no. I remember this quite well. Three of them. Our side, one below, and one above. And then there was a wind. It blew at all times, cold, northern. And river shells whispered me something. Sounds eerie. No, it was all right. But it is not the whole story. Just give me some time and I will have it all. What else do you want to know? Why do you need a pruno? You're undead. The undead need a treat from time to time, don't they? You know, they sometimes treat Susietkas and the parents. Why am I any different? What else do you want to know? Let's go. We'll talk later. God bless, Igor Yevlampovich. Vasilisa. Howdy! I thought you decided never visit my izbai ever again. Oh, if God wished it so, I wouldn't. This place of yours scares me something terrible. I can just feel shorts looking at me from the forest. Necessity brought me here. No one can help me but you. What happened? Is someone's dead? Oh, no one. Praise the merciful Lord. Well, at least no man was killed. In a cemetery chapel we found a cow that's been missing for several months now. Sure, I remember that cow. That's the one we couldn't bring back from the leshy. It's a good thing that you found it. Well, it depends on how you look at it. It's been found dead. A horrible sight. I heard that the chapel has been haunted lately. Right. Weren't you the one who forbade me to exorcise the demons there? Why don't you tell me some more about that silly superstition of mine, huh? Well, what can I say? I was wrong, Igor Yevlampovich. Help us, fools. Well, I'll be waiting for you in my church. I think we should inspect that cow. I have a bad feeling about it. All right, Grandpa. Let's get going. Yegor's chorts fuss in the backyard, arguing and chattering like a flock of magpies. You notice that some of them smear radishes with soot, while others wash them off, trying to outdo one another. Having noticed your interest in the chorts, old Yegor tells you of an old theory of his. According to his logic, a learned chort is better than three unlearned. The cold night is filled with hundreds of sounds. Demons and wood chorts swoop under the wide fir branches. Owls hunt for nimble mice. Graveyard grasses whisper something from beneath the gloomy silhouettes of the Galbets at Mikhail's crossroads. Old Yegor stops and crouches down, looking at something on the dry earth. All right, everyone, I am gonna go ahead 
going to end it here for today. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all tomorrow with a new game. Bye, y'all.